Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a science fiction film called Godzilla. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Sometimes in the past, humanity was experimenting on the small islands near France and completely disregarding the animals living in the islands. The military eventually decided to test their nuclear bombs in the ocean, which caused a massive explosion that blew apart everything in its way. The radiations were able to change the genetics of the reptiles inside the nearby islands, which is bound to have terrible consequences for the future. Many years after the experiments, a Japanese fishing boat inside the ocean is planning to go home Home as they finish catching all the fish for their trip. Before the people can make it back towards land, they quickly realize that something is wrong as their radar begins showing that something gigantic is approaching their way. The people have no choice but to sound the alarms immediately as all the workers rush towards the navigation room to turn the fishing boat away from the impact. However, the people's boat is eventually hit by the massive creature as it easily rips apart the walls and killing all the humans nearby. Very soon, the monster manages to quickly sink the entire ship and knocking the humans away by using its massive tail. Sometimes later, a biologist whose name is Nick is going towards a radioactive zone so he can study how the radiations have affected the creatures nearby. The man goes out from his vehicle and rushes towards the nearby ground where he uses the electric rods to force the worms onto the surface. Before the scientist manages to collect the samples, he quickly notices that something is wrong as he sees a bunch of soldiers rushing his way. This quickly reveal that the military is here to enlist the man for help, as they need the biologist to examine something peculiar that has happened recently. Very soon, Nick is taken onto an airplane and flown towards an island close to the Pacifics, where he eventually arrives onto the nearby shore. When the man lands onto the ground, he is greeted by the General of the United States military, who brings the scientist towards a place where the soldiers have set up a parameter on the ground. It's quickly revealed that the people have found massive footprints in the nearby vicinity that could not have been made by any known species on the earth. What is even more intriguing is that the giant footprints have a lot of residue radiations, which means that the creature that made them has to be radioactive as well. Luckily, the people were able to find a survivor from the Japanese fishing vessel, who was able to survive the creature's attack. But the man has been driven insane and only replies that the creature is called Godzilla. Very soon, the people are put into the military's cars and driven towards the massive Japanese fishing vessel vessel that's stranded on shore. When the people eventually gets out from the vehicles, they are stunned by what they see in front of their eyes, as they witness how the ship was apparently destroyed. What the people don't realize is that the monster has set its eyes upon even more fishing vessels, as three American ships have apparently been trapped inside the ocean. However, before the people can figure out how to free themselves, the ships begin to be pulled towards the bottom while the people try desperately to cut away the ropes. Their plan eventually proves to be useless as their ships begin to sink very quickly towards the ocean floor and drowning all the sailors at the same time. Very soon, the American military has received the news about this incident, and the people realize that they're in serious trouble as the monster is right outside of the New York City. The team speculates that it must be a prehistoric dinosaur that never went extinct, but Nick thinks that the creature is a new species that was created by mankind's nuclear experiments. On the other side, an old man is fishing on the shores of the New York City City and quickly manages to catch something big while his fishing rod is being pulled towards the water. What he didn't expect was for his fish to become a gigantic kaiju that begins rushing towards the old man and destroying everything in the way. The monster eventually makes it onto the shores while causing chaos on the highway as it begins crushing everything beneath its massive feet and causing the humans to run desperately for their lives. The gigantic kaiju quickly grabs onto a construction vehicle while lifting the machine into the air and crushing crushing everything inside its mouth. At the same time, the mayor of the city is giving a speech to all his supporters while promising all the people with a better future and not realizing that everyone is in terrible danger. Very soon, the grounds begin to shake like it's having a severe earthquake while the people are confused by what's going on. However, all the humans soon begin to run for their lives as they see that the giant monster is heading towards them and crushing everything that's in the way. The monster eventually makes it into the town center and destroys 
destroying all the buildings at the same time. While a journalist named Victor quickly notices this and immediately begins chasing after the kaiju with his camera, the man starts running against the crowds while leaping over the cars and is eventually able to arrive right in front of the massive creature. Victor quickly takes the chance and begins filming the kaiju while the creature marches on top of him and stepping right into the tiny human. Luckily, the monster barely missed the journalist before eventually walking away and proving that the cameraman never dies. After the horrific attack on the city, the military eventually arrives alongside the scientists as they try to figure out what they can do to stop the monster's attacks while all the citizens are panicking in fear and trying to get out from the city immediately. Very soon, the mayor arrives back into the town center as well and tries to ensure all his sponsors that everything is under control, not realizing that a mysterious man called Roach has secretly placed a bug onto his shirt. It's quickly revealed that Roach is a secret agent working for the French government as they try to spy on the Americans' operation for dealing with Godzilla. However, the US government has no idea about what they should do as they have somehow lost track of the building-sized monster in their city. Luckily, the soldiers are eventually able to find the kaiju's latest location as they quickly rush towards the subway station and arriving inside the lower floor where they see that a huge tunnel has been dug out. The people begin examining the area immediately as they plan on following the monster into the hole, but Nick is quickly able to come up with a much better plan. Very soon, the military begins setting up a parameter outside in the streets while numerous trucks are backing up towards the same location before dumping a ton of sea animals on top of the ground. It's quickly revealed that Nick is planning to lure the kaiju into the opening while eventually taking down the monster with all their firepowers. After some time, the people begin feeling vibrations on the ground while the manhole explodes violently from underneath before the creature eventually begins erupting out from beneath the floor as it tries to look for the food that's nearby. The scientist is amazed by the monster's tremendous size as the kaiju approaches closer towards the tiny human and roaring furiously at the man. Surprisingly, the creature eventually decides to leave the scientist alone while rushing directly towards the food as the monster is only interested in filling its tummy by eating the fish on the ground. However, the piece is quickly broken when the military general tells the soldiers to fire immediately and causing numerous ammunitions to be shot towards the creature. To their surprise, the kaiju manages to dodge the rocket launchers which blows up the entire building behind the creature. The monster takes the chance and quickly runs away from the area while smashing all the tanks at the same time as the creature eventually turns around and blasting the soldiers with flames from the explosions which turns the people into human barbecues immediately. The military is forced to send their helicopters after the monster right away as they chase the kaiju across the skyscrapers. Very soon, the humans manage to eventually lock onto the monster as they fire the missiles towards the enemy but only ends up hitting the Chrysler building as a result while completely destroying it in the process. With no other choice, the choppers begin shooting their miniguns at the giant creature while chasing it through the numerous buildings but they eventually end up losing sight of the kaiju from the pursuit. Luckily, the people manage to find a giant hole on the skyscraper where they hear that the creature is on the other side as they begin firing all the ammunitions towards the enemy while causing huge explosions in the process. Thinking that they have won the battle, the soldiers begin celebrating in victory but the giant monster jumps out from behind the people right away and destroying most of the team at the same time while leaving only one survivor who's desperately trying to fly away. Surprisingly, the soldiers seem to have eventually managed to shake off the kaiju but is only ambushed from underneath by the monster instead. The people quickly realize that they have lost all their soldiers and have no choice but to give up for now as the giant monster climbs onto the building and roars furiously in victory. Despite losing the battle against the massive enemy, Nick is able to retrieve important genetic materials from the kaiju as he plans on figuring out why the monster is here. The man quickly goes towards the pharmacy to purchase a bunch of chemicals for testing hormones but is surprised to see his ex-girlfriend Audrey who's apparently now working as a reporter. Despite the man still being a little upset about their earlier breakup, he decided to forgive the girl and show her to his laboratory where he plans on figuring out the creature's reason for coming to their city. To his surprise, the hormonal test results quickly shows that the monster is apparently pregnant which explains why the creature requires so much food while also digging tunnels underground to make room for its babies. The man realizes that the giant monster is reproducing very soon and quickly decides to report his findings to the government while leaving the ex-girlfriend in the lab as she begins looking through all the secret documents 
from the government and stealing them for her own selfish benefits. Very soon, the military general begins planning another trap for the giant monster, but the scientist informs the people that they have a more urgent problem to deal with. He tells everyone that the massive kaiju is planning to give birth to hundreds of little monsters very soon, which can prove to be disastrous for the entire human race. However, before the man can finish explaining his plan, they are quickly interrupted by a news report on the television, where the classified information about the monster has apparently been leaked by Nick himself. The people hears this and immediately blames the scientists for betraying their trust, and kicking the man off their team as well. However, what the people don't realize is that Roach has been secretly watching them as well, and the secret agent has a different plan for using the scientist. Very soon, Nick is forced to leave the government's base, while he eventually calls a taxi for the airport, but quickly runs into his ex-girlfriend once again. The man expresses how disappointed he feels about the woman's betrayal, before getting inside the car and leaving the girl with nothing but guilt. While Nick continues riding inside the vehicle, he quickly realized that something is wrong, as the taxi is taking him away from his destination. The scientist tells the driver to stop immediately, but it turns out that Roach was the one driving all this time, and the man quickly reveals that he's secretly working for the French government. The agent takes the man into his secret base, where a group of soldiers are preparing the weapons, as they plan on going to destroy the monster's nest, but they also need the scientists to join them to ensure the mission's success. Surprisingly, Nick agrees to help them right away, as this is the only way to prevent humanity from being destroyed in the future. At the same time, Audrey is crying inside her bed, as she feels extremely guilty about betraying Nick. But to her surprise, her friend Victor rushes inside, while telling her to stop feeling sorry for herself. The man suggests that she should amend her wrongs with action, and the best way to do this is to go destroy the creature's nest as soon as possible. The two quickly decides to head towards the subway station, as they break into the building and continues heading deeper into the basement, while eventually making it towards the massive tunnel. On the other side, Nick is dressed up like the American soldiers alongside the French agents, and they quickly manage to reach the safety parameters set up by the government. Luckily, the team is able to fool the soldiers, as the agent shows off his perfect American accent, which quickly earns the people the pass towards the restricted parameters. What the group doesn't realize is that the military has already set up another trap for the giant monster, while hoping to capture the creature on their second try. Very soon, the team is able to make it inside the tunnels, but quickly begins feeling vibrations all over the place. The people watches in horror, as Godzilla crashes through the nearby walls, while rushing directly towards them and forcing the soldiers to fall back immediately. The reporter sees the monster as well, and is forced to run the other way, while Victor continues filming the kaiju, as he barely escapes being crushed in the last moment. It's quickly revealed that Godzilla is actually rushing away from the tunnel, as it heads straight towards the military's trap, which conveniently allows the people to continue towards the monster's nest. On the other side, the soldiers have quickly spotted the giant creature moving on the streets, while they wait patiently for the monster to approach the bait so they can ambush the enemy. As the kaiju moves closer towards the park, it quickly notices the humans on the ground, and begins remembering what happened last time it tried to eat the fishes. Seeing that the monster is not falling for the trap, the soldiers are forced to fire immediately, while Godzilla quickly begins running the other way. The monster starts sprinting through the massive buildings, while numerous choppers begin to swarm out with guns blazing, as they all try to take down the kaiju at the same time. Very soon, the creature begins running towards the ocean, while the artilleries are shooting all their missiles at the enemy, which forces Godzilla to leap through the air, and eventually diving inside the water as a result. However, the battle is not over yet, as the humans have stationed multiple ships inside the ocean, in anticipation for the monster. The navy eventually manages to lock onto the giant creature, and fires their torpedoes towards the kaiju, but the monster is able to evade the attacks continuously, no matter how many times the people fire. Things become even worse when the sailors realize that Godzilla is heading directly towards their ship, while the torpedoes are following the monster closely behind. The soldiers try to escape right away, but things are already too late, as the creature crashes onto the vessels from below, while the bombs completely destroys the people soon after. Luckily, the battle is not over yet, as Godzilla begins swimming back towards the island while the other ships begin chasing it from the rear. The people sees this and quickly fires their torpedoes once again, while the massive creature tries desperately to dig onto the land, but is eventually hit by the bombs from behind, and causing huge explosions in the process. The humans begin 
celebrating immediately as they think that they have killed the monster, while Godzilla slowly drowns towards the ocean floor. On the other side, Nick continues venturing through the tunnels alongside his comrades, and they are eventually able to reach the monster's nest, where they see hundreds of giant eggs lying on the floor. The people realize that they have to destroy the baby kaijus immediately before they can hatch, but unfortunately, the soldiers did not bring enough bombs for the job. However, before they can figure out what to do next, Nick quickly begins to hear vibrations within the egg, and very soon, a massive animal breaks out from the shells, while causing all the others to vibrate as well. The people realize that they're in serious trouble as numerous baby monsters begin hatching from the eggs and devouring the food on the ground at the same time. The humans are forced to run away from the area immediately, while the creature starts chasing them furiously from behind and trying to devour the man in the process. Luckily, Nick is eventually able to escape from the vicious animals alongside his friend, but other soldiers were not so lucky as they are killed by the monsters horrifically. The French agent realizes that they have to keep the hatchlings inside, while telling Nick to call the military to bomb the entire building, but unfortunately, their phones are not receiving any signals, while the payphones have also been jammed. Just when they are running out of ideas, they are quickly interrupted by the reporters who drop down from the air ducts, and Nick is shocked that his ex-girlfriend has been following them this whole time. However, the girl claims that she knows how they can contact the military, but just before their conversation can finish, the people notice that the vicious monsters are closing in, which forces them to run away immediately. The team eventually makes it onto the second floor, as they rush inside the broadcasting room, and Victor quickly begins turning on the cameras, while the woman starts going live on the news. Very soon, all the people outside begin to notice the reporter on the television, while Nick shows the others where the numerous hatchlings are located, and pleading for the military to bomb the building immediately. The general hears this and begins ordering his planes to bombard the creatures right away, while Roach realizes that they have to leave this building right now if they want to make it out of here alive. The group eventually climbs down from the second floor as they sprint across the hallway while trying to evade the countless monsters that are chasing from behind. However, when the people finally reach the front entrance, they quickly notice that the lobby is filled by the monstrous hatchlings which are blocking their only way out. Realizing that they are running out of time, Roach decides to improvise by shooting down the chandeliers on the ceiling while using the dropping objects to clear a way for them to escape. The team eventually manages to make it out from the building while locking the monsters inside. Very soon, the fighter jets fly into the area and launching the rockets right onto the structure while creating a massive shockwave and turning the hatchlings into nothing but fried chickens. Luckily, the team manages to escape from the gigantic explosion as they jump away from the blast just in time. When the dust eventually settles, the people sees that all the vicious animals have been destroyed while thinking that they have won the battle. However, before the people can celebrate their victory, they quickly begin hearing a loud roar and watches horrifically as Godzilla emerges out from the numerous wreckages. Before the creature can go after the people, it quickly notices that all its children have perished, which makes the monster blame the humans as the culprits. The people sees this and begins running desperately for their lives, while the giant creature chases behind them as it tries to rip the humans into pieces. Luckily, the team is eventually able to find a working vehicle, while Roach manages to start the car and begins driving away from the area immediately. However, the monster is not willing to give up its vengeance so easily, as it continues trying to destroy the car, while the people barely manages to avoid the giant creature. The French agent continues to drive as fast as he can, while the kaiju simply refuses to let the humans leave, as it tries to bite onto the vehicle by using its massive jaws, while causing a huge explosion right in front of the humans as they get nearly burned to death by the fire. The people realize that they cannot run from the enemy forever, and eventually decides to rush towards a nearby suspension bridge, but suddenly, Godzilla launches out right in front of the team and manages to bite onto the car at the same time. The monster quickly begins lifting the humans away from the ground, while trying to crush the people to death by using its massive jaws. Luckily, Nick manages to use the electrical wires from the bridge to shock the enemy, while forcing the monster to finally release the vehicle. The people take the chance and begins driving away as fast as they can, while the monster continues chasing the humans from behind, and quickly destroying the entire bridge at the same time. However, before the creature can catch up to the vehicle, it quickly gets stuck inside the massive cables, while the wires begin tying up the monster like a bunch of ropes. The main character sees this, and calls for the military to attack right away, while the fighter jets quickly fly towards the monster 
monster and begins bombarding the creature with numerous missiles. Very soon, the humans manage to make it onto the other side of the bridge, while the airplanes continue attacking the monster from above and causing the creature to scream in agony. The massive kaiju eventually begins falling down onto the ground as it smashes the vehicle like a pancake, while Nick slowly goes towards the monster as the creature sighs in defeat. The man watches the kaiju with sympathy while the creature finally closes its eyes for the last time, before all the humans begin celebrating for their victory against the giant monster. What the people don't realize is that somewhere inside the wreckages of the buildings, a single egg has survived the bombs while quickly giving birth to a kaiju at the same time. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.